Hey, this is Eric again, and as you probably already know, I do a lot of sales training. I coach people literally all around the world to increase their closing ratios and to help them to get their products and services out to as many people as possible. I've worked with a lot of network marketing companies, a lot of uh, direct sales professionals, and of course a lot of parents. And one of the biggest questions that I get asked is, Eric, how do I overcome this fear of rejection? How do I uh, put myself out there a lot more often? And and overcome this uh, this fear that I have and so today's video is going to give you three tips that you can use in order to uh, put yourself out there a lot more the first tip has to do with making it a game and so as of course you know uh, sales to one degree or another is a numbers game. And so is that all it is? No. Anybody that just tells you that it's nothing but a numbers game, okay, they don't know a whole lot of sales techniques and they, they don't know what they're doing. But to a degree, of course, you're going to have to put yourself out there. You're not going to get any sales if you never talk to anybody. And a lot of times people are like, oh, well, I, I really want to put myself out there, but boy, I just, anytime I hear a no, I just, I, I crumble. And so what you want to do is you want to begin to link no's with high amounts of pleasure. For example, when the people that work for me go and do expos and trade shows, they set up a booth and as people are walking by, they will call out to them, they'll get their attention and hopefully get their contact information so that we can uh, get them in our sales funnel. Well, of course, as you can imagine, when there are thousands of people walking by, some people are going to be nice, some people not so much. And some people will say no regardless of what you do or have to offer without even uh, finding out what it is that you have to offer. And so for a long time, some of the people that worked for me were like, Eric, this is getting really hard. We, I mean, uh, people at this expo just are not being receptive. What do we do? And I said, make it a game. And so keep track of how many yeses and how many noes you get. And once you reach a certain number of noes, let's say it was 12 noes in two hours or whatever it is, set, give yourself a reward. And so whether that's a little piece of chocolate or going and getting a massage or whatever it is, this way, every single time you get rejected or hear a no, it actually gets you one step closer to that reward. And so what happens is every time you get a no, it's like, oh! I'm one step closer to this reward. It actually links getting hearing the word no with high amounts of pleasure. And of course, do the same thing with yes. You don't want to purposely try to you know get people to say no. I mean, the, the purpose is, is to get as many people to say yes as possible, right? But that's one idea. And so as I mentioned, uh, if you're someone that uh, has your own business and of course you are constantly reaching out to people, maybe you're going door to door, maybe you set up booths at a trade show, uh, maybe you do cold calls, whatever it is, uh, give yourself a certain number every day, every week, whatever, of no's. And every time you get a no, mark it on a, a little spreadsheet or uh, keep track of it somehow. And once you reach a certain number of no's, give yourself some type of really awesome reward. Again, that will create that uh, pleasure within your mind that will link the uh, receiving a no with high amounts of pleasure and it'll make it a lot easier. Number two, make sure that you are taking good care of yourself. Most of us don't do well with rejection regardless, right? And one of the biggest reasons why is rejection can actually put us down into what's called stage two depression if we're not careful. We call this rejection depression. Have you ever experienced this? Um, a lot of, this is one of the reasons why so many people fear uh, reaching out to people because they're like, oh gosh, uh, if, I, if I'm rejected, then I'm gonna feel depressed. You know, if I ask that girl for a date and she tells me no, then, oh gosh, that's going to feel terrible. If I ask my boss for a raise and he says no, that's going to put me down in depression. And the way to combat that is by making sure you're taking good care of yourself. In our company, we call it blue screen time. And this is taking time for yourself each and every day just for that self-nurture, that self-care. Um, that, of course, includes eating good food. That, of course, get, includes getting a full night's sleep every night. Uh, for some people, like my Myself, every single day I gotta have me time I gotta sit in my dad's chair and I gotta just veg just for a certain period of time and that's one of the ways that I actually do that self-care when you're constantly getting that self-care it uh, allows you to stay out of stage two depression and it makes no much easier to uh, to handle and so number one as I mentioned 
Uh, create a little quota for yourself, and every time someone says no, then that gets you one step closer to your goal. Number two, make sure you're taking good care of yourself. And number three, you actually can link hearing no with high amounts of ple uh, pleasure using NLP. My wife and I just returned from a quick trip to Yellowstone over the weekend, and she is currently working on writing her first book. I'm super proud of her. And she's working on an online program for mothers, which is going to help people all around the world. Holy smokes, I can't wait to see the type of effect that her new online program is going to have on people. And uh, she and I are both introverts. And she has a personality type where she is extremely sensitive to uh, uh, hearing no. She is what we call a white personality, and so she th uh, thrives by keeping the peace, by not stirring the pot. And obviously, as you put yourself out there, um, it can stir the pot. And regardless of how amazing you are, regardless of how awesome your product or service is, there's going to be people that don't like you. And especially as you begin to reach out to people on social media and with uh, Facebook ads and, and whatnot, uh, you're going to attract some trolls. And so um, one of the things that we did while we were gone was we used NLP to literally break the pattern in her mind, which linked putting herself out there with fear and pain. And we rerouted those neurons in her brain to uh, use to link it with high amounts of pleasure and excitement. The only difference between fear and excitement is what you're anticipating. Fear is the anticipation of pain or discomfort. Excitement is the anticipation of pleasure. And so if you uh, look, two people can look at the exact same upcoming event. One person will fear it because they believe it's going to be really uncomfortable. And the other person will be excited about it because they link it with high amounts of pleasure. And what we did was we literally broke that pattern in our mind using NLP and we re- wired it to link uh, putting yourself out there and even rejection, even getting Facebook trolls with high amounts of pleasure. And so if that's something that you feel would be super beneficial to you, just comment below and or actually send me an email. Uh, send an email to E-R-I-C, which is of course my first name, Eric, at feelwelllivewell.com. One more time, that's E-R-I-C at feelwelllivewell.com. Shoot me an email with subject heading uh, pain to pleasure. And I can give you some information of where you can go in order to retrain your mind, in order to link putting yourself out there, talking to people, and yes, even getting no's with high amounts of pleasure. That way you do it a lot more. The more you put yourself out there, then usually the more yeses you're going to get. If you're seeing this on Facebook, just comment below or shoot me a private message and you can do the same thing. And so one more time to recap, three ways to uh, put yourself out there and to handle rejection a lot farther. Number one, set a quota for yourself of how many no's you get. And every time you get a no, that gets you one step closer to your reward. Number two, make sure you're taking really good care of yourself to avoid rejection depression. And number three, use NLP to retrain your brain to link rejection and putting yourself out there with high amounts of pleasure. Because one more time, the more no's you get, the closer you get to a yes, which is my absolute favorite word. Love you.